Hello, beautiful. Today we're doing a little something different. I would be making a shirt out of hair. If you're wondering what the reason is for me making a hair shirt, well, there's many things. First of all, it sounds cool, doesn't it? Um, <clears throat> well, besides that, I bought a sewing machine two months ago and I just didn't have an idea and wasn't feeling inspired to make anything. But then one rainy evening, I had a vision of a shirt with rows of hair in different colors and hair over here and there. I needed to make it happen. And, 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 I will give credit where credit's due. I did see a shirt made out of hair like years ago from some high fashion line, but it was like $30,000. So I'm gonna make it myself and it's gonna be fire. Where the f do I start here? Let me show you the vision. So basically what's going on here is this is the shirt that I'm about to transform, okay? And it's not gonna look like this when we're done. Ew, it's disgusting, no. We're getting rid of the sleeves, boom. See, cause I wanna like this kind of tank top look, but like a nicer fabric, like I wanna look bougie. I want the front of myself covered in the black hair, mostly. Cause I want you to kind of be like, is that hair or is it not? And you get closer and you're like, oh my God, are you wearing hair? And I'm like, yeah. And then I was thinking maybe we can add some blue in here and some blonde. I don't know. I'm also just like a hands-on type of learner. I'm gonna like go into this and probably just not even look at what I really sketched up here because I don't know if I can even accomplish this. We're gonna attempt to do something like that. Let me tell you another thing thing before we start here. Not only are we creating a shirt made out of hair today, but I'm also gonna learn how to sew at the same time. I did practice a couple times before the start of today's video. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I did it. I have hair hanging from a piece of muslin. So if you can see here, I have so many different stitches that I tried and I finally got the hair to really stay on here. So here's the vibes. Stop, it's cool. This is only like a little bit of the hair. Like I have probably 20 more bundles of this hair and I'm not gonna use like any of it, but just in case. This is a lot and this is the prettiest blonde hair I've ever seen, but I can't wait to have it on my body because this hair is gorgeous. By the way, this is gonna be a expensive shirt. Now I know why that other hair shirt was like $30,000 because it's a lot. Oh, I have a sewing machine. Look at her. Oh my God, what should we call her? She's so cute. Let's call her Wendy. I don't know why Wendy just popped in my head, but it seems right for her because she's like a working mom. She's like four kids and she is a hustler and she is gonna be there for me today. Oh my God, hell yeah. I'm so excited. Oh, I'm already good at sewing. I am. I am going to toot my own horn like crazy today because I thought this shit was gonna be hard. A lot of people made it seem like sewing was really hard. It's not. Get a sewing machine. It's literally so easy. You just f put the thread in there, do 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 do, boom. You put the thing underneath there. You change the things and you do the thing. It's not that hard. That was basically a tutorial. I actually have to do this now. I guess we can start off by cutting this shirt. I have a chalk pen. That's not what I wanted to do. <laughs> chalk pen is not the right thing for this. Let me take the shirt off so we can cut it. All right, we have our fabric scissors. Now you get to wish me good luck. I'm gonna cut it now. Oh, okay. We're cutting. Please look good, please look good, please look good. I just want you to look good. I'm gonna like extend the arm a little bit. Oh no, this feels wrong. <laughs> Did I go too far? I don't know. All you sewers that are maybe watching, um, I'm so sorry. Um, hold on. I shouldn't be talking while I do this. Oh no. <gasps> it's perfect. Oh my God, I did it. If you've cut tank tops before, like cut sleeves off, it never comes out this good. Like it looks like it was made like that. Yes, yes. Wait, I need to show you this thing I bought. <laughs> I'm so cute. I don't even know what you call this thing. A poof? Poof pin? Pin poof? We're gonna put some pins in here. Because I really want to feel immersed in this experience, okay? Ew. That makes an awful sound when you put this in here. Uh, I want to get the hair on here. Like, this is just, this is a joke. You know what I mean? Like, I don't want to do that. It's time to have fun with the hair. So what I think I'm going to do is start at the bottom. And I'm not going to start at the way bottom because, like, I might end up cutting this shirt shorter. I'm just going to put it here. Okay, let me cut this to the length of the shirt. By the way, I'm only covering the front of the shirt because I just feel like if I do the back, it's just like too much, you know? And we would never want anything that I do to be too much. I'm not like an extra type of person. I'm very like subtle and quiet. So this is what it looks like. I pinned the hair to the shirt. It looks so good. Oh my God, I wanna put this in my body immediately. Oh, it's not moving. Oh, we got a pen, we got a pen. Take it out, take it out. Oh, 
those sewing machines are really scary sometimes. I always think they're gonna like kill me. Uh oh, we're going off course. Yeah. Hell yeah. Did I do it? <laughs> oh, please, please look good. 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 <gasps> Shut up. It's a little bit wavy in the back, but it's like an aesthetic. I thought this was gonna be so hard, like not doable. Like I thought I would be really struggling, but so far I've never done anything easier. Let me cut a bunch of these pieces of hair to the right length so that I just have them. Okay. We have a lot more hair. Let's add it to the shirt. Now, here's the question. How thick do I want this shirt? This is probably gonna use a lot of bundles of hair. So maybe like that much hair? I don't want it to make me look bulky. Uh-oh, we're off the path. Filming a video and doing this is like not the easiest. Let me show you up close how little of a area I have to sew. It's just this little tiny part right here. I need to get it right on there or else it's not gonna stay. Cool. I need some time to myself real quick to like get some more of these on here because I am so focused. It's really hard for me to talk and do this at the same time. So I'm gonna put these on here. Like I'm gonna try and go up pretty far and then I'm gonna show you guys what I'm gonna do next. Cause I'm gonna add some blonde hair into here and it's gonna be super fun. I can brush the hair on this shirt. I'm also gonna be cutting the hair when I'm done and giving it like layers and making it so that it's not like completely straight at the bottom and like kind of going in like a diagonal direction. And I also might like color the blonde hair that I attached to this. I'm just gonna have fun with it, you know? I'm really excited to add the blonde hair. What's it gonna look like? Should we like test it? I don't know. Do I add it now? Do I add it later? Oh yeah. Yeah, I will be adding a row of this. Oh, I also just figured out something. I heard somebody say like reverse stitch to start off your stitch so that like things don't fall apart when you're done. I realize there's a reverse button on here. So you just like reverse the stitch. How smart. Ah! I'm so good at the reverse thing. I am going to be making everything from now on. I'm sorry, but that looks crisp as sh I mean, it's not perfectly straight, but that looks crisp. Risp. I bet I'm doing so many things wrong and all of the sewing community is gonna be like, what the f does this kid think he's even doing? Like, cause this is not correct. But I don't care because show me where your shirt is made out of hair. I'm going to be straightening this after too and we can even braid it. Okay. I did a lot while I was gone. <laughs> This would be such a cute little dress. Mm, while I was doing this, I was like, people might think this is a little weird. And I know, I know you're thinking like, yeah, Brad, I didn't think about how weird it might be perceived, you know, because we make clothes out of animals hair and that's like not good. And I'm over here making clothes out of human hair, which I don't know if that's good either, but uh, we're really deep in this already. <laughs> What am I doing? Is this even the same hair? What is this? This ain't gonna do it for me. <laughs> Why is there no hair on this one? It's starting to look a little ugly. I'm gonna be honest with you. It needs a lot of thinning when I'm done. I wish I had like a mannequin to put this on. This is difficult. Oh my God, do I need like a Mr. Mannequin? <gasps> Should I get one of those like body bodices that you like make garments on? Alexa, order me a, a Mr. Mannequin, please. No. I don't want peppermint, I want our Mr. Manny Quinn. Shut up. Oh no. We have my first screw up of the night. What is that crinkle? Oh no, ew, that's so ugly. Good thing I had this little tweezer doodad to take out my stitches. It's okay, Brad, we can do this. Note to self, don't f up anymore because this is really hard to take out. I have to go like stitch by stitch here. One wrong cut here and I could cut a lot of hair off this thing. So I better be more careful when I'm cutting this. I keep on cutting hair off. No, we need you on the shirt. You're a valuable piece of this design. Leave a comment down below how uh, this is making you feel, me putting hair on a shirt. God for sewing machines, am I right? Like what? This thing really is just like tearing through this shirt like nobody's business. Like imagine trying to hand stitch this. No. <laughs> it looks kind of weird. I don't know what I'm doing. Like now it looks weird, Brad. It looked weird the entire time. 
Oh no, we lost the thread. No! Not during crunch time, please. I can't handle a lost thread, baby. This is more hair than I've put on people's heads. She's got bundles, baby. Oh, look at when it dances, it's so pretty. Are you guys ready to see what I've created so far? I mean, this is the coolest thing I've ever done, period. You know I'm bringing a hairbrush out with me. Obviously this is not done yet, like it needs a haircut and it needs a few more things. And I also love the way it's styled right now, like I love these waves. It just looks so good as is, I don't wanna ruin it. Like look at this length. Oh my God, it's so luscious. Hold on. With the glasses, I don't feel like I should do this side. Okay, wait, so if I do the other side. Okay, I'm gonna do the other side. I just just do what I originally planned on, right? My microphone's been in the way this entire time. My first masterpiece is coming alive! Woo! I got a burst of energy. Let me finish this shit. All right, almost done. I just gotta finish this corner right here. I gotta clean this up, get the trim going on here. And then <laughs> I have a shirt covered in hair. And honestly, this was so much easier doing this side. I finished what I have so far. This has been the most fun project I've done in a long time. Come the fuck on. Am I the only one who's obsessed with this right now? Like probably. We're gonna make some adjustments. So I look a bit like I'm wearing a bunch of hair. We need to make this look more like a shirt. I want to sew this so that it stays open like this because I need to give like a little bit of sex appeal or else I'm never gonna wear this and it's just gonna look dumb. So I'm gonna hand sew two little knots right here to keep this open like this. And then I feel like I'm gonna love it. But after that, I found this blue extension in the closet. I just feel like I need this. It is all coming together and it is better than what I imagined. So I'm just gonna take the clips off of this and sew this on here. <laughs> Okay, let's do these last final touches. Let me put a little pin in here so I know where I want it to be open. It does bother me a little bit that it's showing like all the lines now from the inside. Whatever, you can't wear them all. Like that. I don't even know if I have a hand needle, whatever you call them. I'm way too lazy to be hand sewing this. I'm gonna use the machine and hopefully it looks fine. Whatever, this is DIY. The stitches are in to keep it open and now I can like do whatever I want. Okay, now let's figure out where I want the blue to go. Okay, so I think it looks best underneath this like second blonde piece. So we're gonna try and maneuver this so that I can somehow sew in this blue underneath that. It's much easier said than done because there's a lot of hair on this thing. Oh God, okay. Oh yeah, that is exactly what this needed. Oh, and by the way, this is obviously x -Mondo color on here. This is super blue. If I'm gonna wear a shirt made of hair, it's gonna have my hair color on it. Okay, let me try it on. <laughs> Every time I put this on, my jaw drops. Ew, how does it keep getting cooler? Like I, I, <sighs> So I'm gonna cut it like up to the bottom of the shirt, I believe. And then I'm gonna layer it so that we still see all the different colors throughout. <sighs> okay, I'm gonna put the finishing touches on and then hopefully I'm done. Okay, so I'm gonna go cut this on the hanger because I can't do it on camera. There's nowhere for me to hang this up right here. It looks even cooler on the hanger. Oh my God. Sorry, I'm just not gonna stop saying how cool this is because it's really cool. All right, so here she is. I'm actually kind of sad I'm cutting any of this, but it's just too long for my body. So let's do a little chop -a down here. I'm gonna start getting rid of this hair. Okay, that looks better. That's as much as I can show you while holding the camera with one hand. I'm gonna blend these layers in too, cause that looks ugly. Like we need a seamless blend here. I want it to look like a perfect little ombre. Okay, so I attempted to layer this side. It looks layered. No, I actually think it looks really cool. Compared to this side, like I really like this little detail, the black at the bottom and the layeredness in here. But now I'm like, do I want to like make this asymmetrical? Do we like that it's different on both sides? I don't know. I think I might just make them both the same. It already has a lot going on. Like, I don't know if we need to do any more. Okay, haircut is finished. I did the best I could do. That was so hard. So I'm gonna spray some salty sea salt spray in here, twist some pieces and blow dry just to give it some more texture. And then you guys are about to see the final results. Listen, all I know is that I'm never 
taking this off. I've never met a piece of clothing that is more me in my entire life. Why didn't I think of this before? I really don't even know how this came out like exactly like I imagined. I have never sewn a garment before and somehow it looks decently done. What? What would you guys rate this? One to 10, 10 being the best. Do you think this is cool or am I just crazy? Probably the crazy one. And if I am crazy, then just let me be, okay? If you ever think about making some clothes, I say do it. If you like check out my hair care or my hair color products, you can do so with the link right down below or go to xmodohair.com. And that is all for today. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to live your extra life and I'll see you next time. Bye. Do, 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 do.